ever seen a DOS virus that would draw on your screen? Let me introduce you to the ping pong virus. Hi there, I'm Hi Voice, reminding you to subscribe and click that bell icon. It lets me know what kind of content to produce next. The ping pong virus was discovered on the 1st of March 1988 at the Turin Polytechnic University, Italy. The virus was the most famous virus of its time until the release of the stoned virus. I did a video on the stoned virus on this channel. Do check it out as I go in depth describing the virus. Just like stoned, ping pong is a boot sector virus. However, ping pong had quite an unusual effect. The ping pong virus will remain dormant for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, any disk access would activate the virus. The virus would begin by drawing a ball. The ball is the ASCII symbol for a bullet. The ball would then proceed to move linearly across the screen, bouncing off the edges. The virus would draw the ball on every screen mode. This meant that the virus would draw the ball even if there was a graphical application running. The only way to get rid of the ball was to reboot the computer. The ping pong virus hid in the boot sector of floppy disks, just like the stoned virus. The virus would mark the first free cluster as a bad sector. This causes MS-DOS to avoid writing to this cluster. Once the computer is booted, the virus becomes memory resident. Once memory resident, any attempt to override the boot sector will cause the virus to reinfect the disk. The virus was written in assembler. Handwritten assembler was the most common technique to write malware in those days. The virus did have one malicious side effect. On 286, 386 and 486 CPUs, the virus would crash the computer. This was due to the assembler containing instructions that only worked on the x88 and x86 CPU variants. This was an unfortunate circumstance and might not have been intentionally programmed. The virus was quite benign as it only drew some annoying graphics. There were a few variants which had some noticeable differences. The typo variant would cause errors when writing documents to printers instead of a bouncing ball. Other variants, Ping Pong B and Ping Pong C, would infect hard disks. The virus, however, did not infect many computers and is considered extinct. This includes the variants, which are considered extinct as well these days. All modern antivirus software can easily detect and quarantine the ping pong virus. And there you have it, a brief overview of the ping pong virus. More details and links are provided in the description below. Have you seen this virus in the wild before? Did you have an infected computer with the ping pong virus? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you like what you see and would like to support the channel, please subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of new videos. Until next time, I'm High Voice signing out.